Welcome, welcome back at any help at C-square. In this uh, uh, example, we have a circle and we know the measure of angle DB. This angle is 42 degrees and the measure of arc EA, which is this angle uh, arc, is uh, 66 degrees. And we are asked to find the measure of angle ACD, which is this angle right here. And for that reason, I'm going to use this property of uh, an inscribed angle which says the measure of an inscribed angle is half the measure of its intercept arc. So basically for the measure of angle ACD, I'm going to look to its intercept arc, which is this arc, uh, AD, and I will divide that by 2. But as you notice, we need first to find the measure of angles of the arc AD. And for that reason, we're going to look here in the picture and the measure of RKD will be equal to the sum of the measure of the arc TE, which is this one. And the measure of the arc EA. And if we look here, we know the measure of arc EA is given to us is 66. However, we need to find the measure of arc DE. And for finding the measure of arc DE, we're going to go back to this angle, uh, angle DBE. That angle is also an inscribed angle, so it's going to be half of the arc, intercept arc, which is uh, DE. And uh, we're going to replace the measure of angle DBE, DBE here with 42 degrees. And we're going to solve for arc DA, for the measure of arc DA, just by multiplying by 2. So we have the measure of the arc DE will be 2 times 42, which is 84 degrees. So now we can go back uh, right here and we can find the measure of arc AD, which is the sum of the measure of arc DE, which is 84, and RK A, which is 66. So the measure of arc AD will be 150 degrees. And now we can go back to the starting point. The measure of angle ACD will be half of this uh, 150 which is the measure of arc AD. So we finish the problem and the measure of arc ACD is 75 degree. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.